I'm Nanette, and I'm going to demonstrate the three simple steps of replacing your own refractory panel. Step one, removing the refractory panel from the firebox. It may be necessary to take off a clip before removing the refractory panel. Then take your pencil and trace around the panel. Sometimes you'll have broken pieces and you need to push them together. Don't forget your safety glasses. So what if you need to replace the panel that has a hole in it for the gas line? Here are some of the basic tools you will need. A skill saw, masonry blades, high heat mortar, safety glasses, tape measure, and a ratchet. Once you get your refractory panel cut to the right size, you're going to need to mark where the exit hole needs to be made. Use a straight edge to mark where you will make your initial cuts. Keep the refractory panel on top of a pallet to keep from cutting into the floor. Now cut along the two straight lines until you've reached the top of your outlined circle. The middle segment will easily break out. Save this piece for later. Now make some additional cuts to free up the space you need for your exit hole. There you go. Sometimes it works best to flip over the panel and repeat the same procedure, just to even out the angles on both sides. You're almost done. The gas pipe should fit perfectly when you insert your refractory panel back into your firebox.
Now it's time to get out the high heat mortar. Remember that little piece you saved from earlier? You can try to use that as a space filler. However, if you find that it's too short, throw it out and get yourself a better piece. This safety precaution will also reduce unnecessary heat loss. Keep your customers happy by supplying them with high quality formation creation refractory panels.